Why am I unable to complete the exercise? How to breathe? The spine is pouring into shorts, lower back hurts, and other questions on the technique of performing the exercise will be analyzed in detail in this video. Hi, this is Fitalina Blog channel. Let's go! We start with the feet. Two options to choose from. The first is to connect the legs together. Second, put your feet shoulder width apart and slightly bent at the knees. The main difference is that in the first case you can diversify the exercise with body turns, adding dynamics and intensity. Try both options and choose the most comfortable or alternate. How to breathe correctly. When moving the pelvis forward, we exhale sharply through the mouth. When moving the pelvis back, we take a breath through the nose or mouth as convenient. Remember that right breathing is a very important part of the exercise. It helps and increases efficiency. When moving to a higher pace of exercise, breathe at a pace that is comfortable for you, but keep the rhythm. You can also try to exhale for each movement of the pelvis forward, and you can, for example, two movements of the pelvis forward, inhale to exhale. To increase the intensity of the exercise, add various hand movements and body turns. Control your knees. It must be fixed. We perform movements with the pelvis clearly and rhythmically. The body shouldn't wobble or move randomly. This is a cardio exercise, and when performed intensively, it engages the muscles of the whole body. Many have problems with the technique of execution or feel discomfort. Don't hurry! Do the exercise slowly with an emphasis on technique and breathing until you bring the movements to automaticity. Only then increase the pace. Keep focus on your feelings. If you feel discomfort in the spine or lower back, keep a moderate pace, that is one at which discomfort doesn't appear. Discomfort can appear for various reasons – poor physical fitness, injuries and any diseases, incorrect execution technique, too fast movements, individual characteristics. I repeat, do it smoothly, at a moderate pace, improve the clarity and rhythm of movements. Only then try to gradually increase the pace. If everything is ok, speed up and try more difficult intensive moves. If discomfort appears, continue to move at a moderate pace. Repeat for several days. If you feel that it's easy and the body is prepared, gradually increase the pace. Well, about the execution time. Of course, you shouldn't exercise on a full stomach. Therefore, training should be carried out either on an empty stomach or 2-3 hours after eating, as you feel comfortable. Start training with 5 minutes a day, keep focus on your feelings. If you are very tired, you don't need to force yourself. For an unprepared body and 5 minutes will be enough. If you feel good, do a 10-minute workout or repeat a 5-minute workout. In general, exercising from 5 to 20 minutes a day is more than enough. Remember that recovery is a very important stage for achieving results. So train every other day or take 1-2 days off from training. Well, and of course, don't forget that the main key to success in building the desired figure is nutrition. Therefore, keep the balance of proteins, fats, carbohydrates and start intermittent fasting. I'll tell you more in new videos. Beauties, if the analysis was useful, let me know with a like. Share your successes in the comments, ask questions. Well, in the new video there will be even more useful and interesting. Don't miss. So, see you soon. Bye!